Hi, this is Mr. Barr. I'm going to talk about equivalent ratios and filling in the missing number. In the last video, we talked about the word equivalent and that it means equal. Let's look at this fraction right here. I have 3 fifths equals something over 15. Well, what is this something, this question mark, this unknown? Yep, there are the lights. Well, there are a couple of ways of doing this. I'm going to teach you a really nice method, but let's just use our brains for 5. How do I turn a 5 into a 15? 5 times 3 would give me a 15. So 3 times 3 is 9. And here's the exact same problem, just written in different form. Whenever we see it in this form, I'm going to be writing it as a fraction because I like to deal with the fractions better. I like it in the fractional form. So watch this. Here's actually my, my method is this. I use a method that I call down... equals up. What's 3 times 15? 45. What's 5 times 9? 45. So down equals up. Watch it in action. You're going to like it. It's a good method. So I have this unknown. I'm going to use a variable to represent my unknown. I'm going to say this is x over 4 equals 4 over 8. Now I can do this in my head or I can use down equals up. This one's pretty good for my head though. How do I turn a 4 into an 8? Well if I multiply this by 2 it'll turn it into an 8. Well what would I have to multiply by 2 to turn it into a 4? Well a 2. So my answer is 2, just by kind of looking at these guys. But let me show you down equals up. Down, I have 8x equals up, which is 16. So what would x have to be? x would have to be 2. Down equals up. I love this. Down equals up. I wonder if I can copyright that or trademark it or something. Here's our next one. 20 over 19 equals x over 95. This one's harder to see. Although I think I can see it. It's multiplied by 5, isn't it? 5 times 19, so 5 times 20. I think the answer is going to be 100. 5 times 19. No, no, whoa, 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 that's so wrong. No, that's right. That's, that is right. Sorry. Wow. 5 times 19 is 95. 5 times 20 would be 100. I think it's going to be 20, but look. Let's do down equals up. My down, 20 times 95. 1,900. Nineteen hundred equals 19x. X has to be 100. Try another one. Fill in the missing number. I'm going to use a variable. I'm going to go x over 82 equals 6 over 12. We'll see. Can I work it this way? How would I turn a 12 into an 82? I'm going that way. 12 turning it into an 82. What's that? 5, 6, 60. 6, 16, that's no, 72. 7, I do not know. Well, this is a half, isn't it? I need half of that. This is a half, so that has to be a half. So this is going to be, uh, what's half? 41? I think it's going to be a 41. If this guy is a half over here, 6 over 12 is a half. 41 over 82 is a half. That should work. Well, let's use down equals up. 
12x, there's my down, equals 6 times 82, 492. And then I would divide both sides by 12. So 492, where's that? 492 divided by 12, 41. I actually like what I'm doing here. The idea that I'm doing it kind of in my head and then I'm checking it using down equals up makes me feel really good about my answers. This is how I feel inside right now. When I get an answer like that, there it is. I need a good color. I feel like this. I feel happy inside. Like this guy right here. He's happy. Why is he happy? Because the answer is 41. And it's 41. He confirmed it two different ways that it's 41. That's why he's happy. Okay. And one more. So I have x over 4 equals 80 over 16. Hmm. So 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 20 would be 80. So I'm gonna, I say it's a 20. I'm going with a 20 on this. That's my guess. 20 divided by 4 is 5. 80 divided by 16 is 5. It sure feels like it's good. But let's do down equals up anyways. Down is 16x equals up, which is 320. I'll divide both sides. I'll divide 320 by 16. What did I get? 20. 20. Yay. Okay, here's another happy face. Why am I happy? I'm going to give me ears this time. Oh, and a nose. And he's happy because he got the same answer both ways. And that is good. All right, that's it.